welcome back to my channel this video emphasizes on the career opportunities and jobs one wants to seek in marine biotechnology or the blue biotechnology so let's start without any further delays jobs in this category require people who are highly analytical research oriented and dedicated to it people in this area research or study basic principles of plant and animal life like its origin anatomy and functions and interprets how a particular part of it can be helpful to humans. An aquatic scientist uses comparative studies and theories related to water, its ecosystem, aquatic organisms and its use by human beings to study processes ranging from a second to decadal ocean wide. They work at the scale of trying to understand global oceanic change or quantifying a global flux of methane from inland waters. Research biologist is a person who performs research on organisms and different species for better knowledge of life. Till now, only 9% of aquatic life has been found. So this is a better option for marine enthusiasts who have to work within an aquatic system. Rearing or culturing of fishes is known as pisciculture. This job can give you high revenue as rearing of fishes is not as easy as one might think. It requires high labor and skills for maintaining the optimum requirements. So if you got skills and are interested in culturing marine life, this is the best platform for you. Marine microbiology is a vast area and if you are from a microbiology background aspiring to make a career with marine life, that's your call. Studying this, you can get a high reputed job in blue biotechnology. Also, microorganisms from marine environment get us so much beneficial products, we would even isolate their protein and enzymes for studies and research. So guys, this completes the final part of our understanding of biotechnology in brief. Do tell me in the comments whether this series was helpful to you or not. See you guys in the next video with a new topic. Till then, happy job seeking. Stay tuned.